continue today's media availabilities. We're now joined by Car Kyle Larson, the driver of the number 42 Target Chevrolet. Kyle, as we kick off the round of 12, how does Charlotte and the next two tracks set you up for advancing into the next round? Uh, yeah, it's um, it was nice to make it uh, easily into this next round, and um, you know the tracks in this round suit me fairly decent, I guess. Um, Charlotte, I seem to be hit or miss. Um, you know, I, I feel like at the whenever we end up running a, a day show at Charlotte, I'm really good, but the night races for some reason I struggle at. So hopefully the weather stays away and we can race while the sun's out, and then um, you know, have a solid race and, and go to Talladega and, and not have to do anything crazy to to. to gain a bunch of points, but um, go there and kind of relax would be nice. And then uh, Kansas is, a, is one of my better tracks, so excited to get there. Uh, seemed to always run better the second Kansas also, so uh, looking forward to that. But um, just got to continue what we've been doing, you know, making no mistakes. You know, top fives and top tens would be great. Um, so that's our goal. Okay, we're going to open the floor for questions. We're going to go to Kenny, and then we'll go to Zach, and then Bob. I felt good. Um, uh, shoot, where was it? Chicago. We were Chicago. I thought we were probably a fourth, fourth place car. I think we finished fifth. Uh, Loudon. I thought we were probably about a fourth place car and finished second. And then Dover. Actually, last week I thought I had the best car, but um, you know I won the second stage. And then uh, under caution, I couldn't get my engine refired, so I went from first to fifth on, on just under yellow, and that kind of killed my shot to win. Uh, where I felt like if I would have restarted the leader. Um, you know, I could have held on to the lead and, and um, you know, maybe won. You, you don't know, but I felt like I would have ran at least first to third. Um, but instead, we finished fifth. So I thought we were, thought we were competitive enough to, to win the championship. So uh, we just got to continue that. Zach, it's Kansas City. Clint Specialist here. Um, obviously, this is the last playoff race here at Charlotte on the Oval. Uh, we're going to the Louisville for next year. So. Are there any concerns for you? You know, do you see it as a benefit for the Speedway? And, and as I said, do you have any concerns on the move? You've seen some changes already on the front stretch. So, you know, what are your thoughts on how it's progressing? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know what to expect. I don't know if it's going to be a good race, a bad race, a embarrassing race or what. But it's going to be exciting nonetheless. So um, I, think, I think the fans will enjoy it. Uh, I don't know how the drivers will feel about it until we actually get to make some laps and compete. But, um, you know, Charlotte and, and NASCAR are trying to, to make things uh, more exciting around here. And, and um, you know, that's one way to do it. So um, I don't know what to expect, though. It'll be interesting uh, when they get to test, test it, I think, in a, in a handful of weeks. Uh, it'll be cool to see. OK, we're going to go to Bob and then Reed. Uh, no, I mean, I never, I hadn't thought about that. Um, I know NASCAR has uh, an awesome you know, security team, so um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever really be, be nervous and, and all that. I mean, I don't know. You, any of those people that were going there, you know, probably don't expect anything like that to happen. So I, I don't think I would ever expect it to happen. But you know, as as we've seen time and time again, it seems like lately anything can happen at, at big events. So. I don't know, but uh, I wouldn't be. I guess right now I'm, I wouldn't be too worried about it because, um, like I said, NASCAR is a great team of, of security. Reed Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service. Uh, Kyle, <laughs> with Talladega being the middle race and with Wayne on, uh, the fact that you've got a substantial number of playoff wins in the bank, uh, give you some latitude there in terms of strategy. Uh, will it affect the way you approach that race? Well, I think it kind of depends on how this weekend goes. Um, if we have a solid week where we gain you know, a good amount of stage points and finish you know, good in the race, um, where we can gain points on, on ninth place, um, I think you could approach it differently and be more cautious. But if we have, a, a, have something go wrong here and, and we're close, I think you have to race it. So um, where those guys that are already you know further down points to me you know they're probably gonna have to race no matter what but um so yeah i just hope we can get through this week and smooth and gain a lot of points so because I, I i don't like talladega i, I and 
uh, especially in the playoffs, it's nerve nerve wracking. So I hope we can just capitalize on this weekend and, and have an easier weekend on ourselves next week. Justin Long, NBC Sports. Kyle, what do you have to do to, to further to further compete against the Toyotas? What do you need to build upon to, if you are in one of the final four in that homestead, that it gives you even a better chance or as good as you are at that track? I don't know. I feel like um, it's been. Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like we've been really good. I feel like I'm even better now in the playoffs than we were in the regular season compared to them so far anyways. So I feel like we've closed the gap a little bit, but other teams have closed it even more. You know, I think Hendrick's done a really good job so far. Uh, the, the two the two teams have been, been strong. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like the 42 team has been the really, for most of the season, the only one to compete with the 78 and the 18. So... Um, we'll just continue to work hard and, and see if we can find small gains or, or big gains to, to be even better. Okay, we're going to go to Daniel and then Jenna. Daniel McFadden with NBC Sports. How are you and your team approaching today's practice session and tomorrow's with the threat of rain on Sunday? And what are you going to be doing in those practice sessions, given not knowing what to make of the team? You're going to be embracing the new commandment green flag and getting it dropped. Well, it's a pavement track so I feel like the conditions are always fairly the same uh, every time we come around so I don't think I haven't talked to them yet we had we had our, our practice plan uh, that we met about uh, on Wednesday and um, it was basically the same as, as every week you know start and race trim swap qualifying trim things like that so um, I don't I don't think it'll change a whole lot um, I know a lot of you know people talk about oh when it rains it washes all the rubber away well I mean, rubber gets laid down super fast anyway. So go to me, all the conditions, anytime we get rain or any, any sort of weather, it goes back to normal really quickly. I think, I think what could change is, is you know, if we race a day or night. Um, that's where Charlotte seems to be the most uh, sensitive track for, for, you know, the sun. So um, that'll be interesting. But uh, I feel like I ran more night races here than day, so we've got probably a good notebook uh, if we end up racing at night. Well, yeah, I guess. Um, you know, I, I put myself in a lot of positions to win um, throughout the first, you know, two and a half years of, of my NASCAR career, and I seemed to to kind of choke, I guess, late in the races. So, but but each of those losses I had, I became, you know, I learned something from each of them. I, I became more calm at each of them. Um, so I think you now now this year with having even better race cars and stuff, uh, and putting myself in position even more. Um, seems like you know, half the season. I felt like we've had a shot to to win. Um, you know, I've I've gotten smarter and, and more calm and stuff like that. Um, just controlling your emotions and thoughts, I guess. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think I've I've gotten better at winning or whatever. You know, learning how to win. Uh, but our race cars, I think, are are the biggest factor in all that. I feel like Chase is. Um, I feel like, I don't know, he's probably ran second as many times as I did uh, before the first win and, and been close just as often as I have, maybe even in some cases more often. Um, but I don't know, he's, he seems extremely mature, so I'm sure he's dealing with it fine. He seems seems so far this year he's dealt with you know all the close finishes way better than he had you know, last year. So um, I think I think that's a case of, of him learning from each of those losses and you know, just becoming – you know, more calm and mature, but um, he'll win, and he's gonna win. When he wins one, he's gonna win a lot. You know, similar kind of what I did this year. Okay, do we have any other questions for Kyle? Okay, Chris. Chris Nykish, Next.com. Uh, Kyle, I just got the press release this morning, and I was wondering about tomorrow's uh, meeting with Ats Atsuka. 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 Okay. Yeah, and the the idea of working to raise awareness about. Yeah, yeah, that's um, – so, yeah, that's – this is our first week in having them on the, the quarter panel there, and uh, they're on Bowman's Xfinity car as well as my cup car. And, um, yeah, I mean, I hope I hope we can uh, grow and build on that relationship. It's always fun and exciting when you can bring a new partner in and be a part of your team and, and organization. So um, I hope we can, you know, 
do what we can to, to help raise awareness for mental health you know, like they want us to and, and can build on that in the future and, and have them be a part of our team for a long time. Any other questions? Hey, thank you for coming in, Kyle, and good luck this weekend.